everybody, it's Lisa. I'm back with another journal and this one I've made very quickly. Usually it takes me about a month but I've made this one in a couple of weeks and I used the Dragonfly Dreams kit by Artie Mays and it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you've never checked out Artie Maisie's kits, please get on Etsy and have a look at them. They are just divine. The colours are amazing. So I will try and link it in the box below. So anyway, this journal I have made for somebody. And I'm not going to say too much about it. But it is a memory journal. And I know they are all memory journals, but this one is a bit more special and it has been designed to put lots and lots of different types of things in, not just journaling or photographs, but I've tried to go the extra mile with the things that I've done. So anyway, you will see as we go through I don't want the video to be too long, so I'll get started. It has a little hitch fastener with ribbon here. And the idea is that you don't have to open up the ribbon each time. You just hook round, hook the ribbon round, and you can tighten it or loosen it off if it becomes too chunky. And this is hand painted fabric which I've painted with watered down acrylic paint and the hardcover has been made by myself everything has been made from scratch there is a Tim Holtz book plate here and listen I've gone over it with glossy accents glue and it looks like glass and I've done some layering and stitching. You're going to hear that word a lot as we go through the book. Layering and stitching or backing and stitching. Uh, and I've done a little kind of layering collage thing here with some lace and burlap and a little stamped image onto fabric and book paper and one of my gorgeous little stick pins. I am absolutely loving making these stick pins and I think I've started a bit of a revival because I think there's a lot of people in our field who enjoy crafting that have made stick pins in the past so everybody's kind of making them again and they're just they're so much fun to make and so pretty. And this has a little back on it so it can be removed. And some stickles. You may not see it. The light keeps changing. The sun keeps coming out and then disappearing. So this is the fifth attempt at making this video. Anyway, I'll stop complaining. When you open it up, there is another little stick pin in the lace so I picked up this idea from Zoe Toefields I thought why don't I put one of them in the lace all of this time I've been attaching lace and I haven't put one of my stick pins in it and this can be removed as well and the Artie Mays papers are just gorgeous and I'm going to bring out the kind of main colours I use to distress this. It's got a very clean look but there is a lot of this colour. Some of this and a fair bit of this. And these worked really well with this kit. There's a lot of texture down the side. There's a lot of paper clips charms and things, lace tabs which have been sewn on so there's a lot going on. A lot of stitching as well and round these pockets, hidden journaling spots, there's also stitching and here I've just done a bit of layering and there is a card from the collection that's been backed and stitched. And a little embossed glassine bag of a little butterfly. I've coloured the butterfly in. 
and uh, there's a little bobbin in there from the collection some ledger paper oh I think the sun's coming out that means there's going to be shadows galore here and a little lace tab with one of my handmade dangles and there's a little vintage bead here and a border punch has been used here and this is an acetate page so the idea is that you could staple things onto this like cinema tickets concert tickets um i know somebody who staples on the little tabs from herbal tea bags that that kind of thing a little burns poem and i've done some decoupaging there and a little pocket for photographs and in this glassine bag there is a little fabric needle book that I've made and I spent all morning making this and it is so so cute I just love it and I've put a needle some safety pins and some little bulb pins for hanging extra things onto the tabs and in this little pocket there are cute oh gosh where did it go there it's cute little bobbins and there is waxed book binding like linen thread here and there's some ordinary thread and there is a little piece of card here and a tab that says my favorite little buttons and you could sew the buttons onto the card or sew them onto the needle book itself or on various parts of the journal and it fastens in a little bow i'm gonna to have to go and shut the blind over the sun is out bear with me i'm really having a bit of a disaster today and now it will be too dark because I've switched off the lighting, but never mind. Oh, I hope this works. And a little envelope and it says a note for. And it's got a little tear in it. I'll need to mend that. And... I backed it with some Edith Holden book page from the 70s and it talks about love. And this is a little folding spot here, but I made the mistake of using a Tim Holtz paper clip thing. Um, I don't even know what they're called. And I was absolutely raging because it's left a big muckle black mark which I frantically tried to wipe off and I can't get it off so I'm not happy about that but I've done some stenciling here and there's a couple of bits from the kit a little paper clip I've made and a little fabric pocket it says once in a while right in the middle of an ordinary life love gives us a fairy tale and a little tag which has been backed with lined paper and stitched around with the sewing machine and the little decorated embossed glassine bag again and this one says snippets of clothing but actually I might put on my computer over the weekend and change this to say snippets of fabric and the idea is that you can cut little bits of fabric off various things that are precious to you and staple them onto this little card. It doesn't have to be clothing. It could be a piece of lace or a piece of a handkerchief or anything at all. And a little glassine bag there. This little tag fits into this little pocket, but the pocket can also be used for photographs and you could put maybe about three photographs in there I'm sure it would be strong enough I made these as well 
and this is a gorgeous little swan charm which I've had in my collection and my well not my collection my stash for ages and I thought oh, how better to use it no other better place to use it than in this gorgeous journal and this is the other side of the Robert Burns poem and it's got a decoupage napkin and this napkin is Oh My Love Is Like A Red Red Rose by Robert Burns more acetate tea dyed paper here and a little card that's I've stitched around it ledger paper something is happening with the light <laughs> I keep seeing flashes coming up in front of my phone so no doubt I'm going to have to do this all again and this is a middle signature and I've sprayed this with sparkly blue glimmer mist and another pocket here and this has been layered and it says memories are meant to be made not forgotten and a wee tab here and this says uh, this is an old book page from the 30s or 40s and it says love descended like an angel and a little envelope, one of my little paper clips and my friend Gail sent me this wool and it is really nice in this book. A little card inside. little clocking card and you could hang things from that and in this photograph pocket there is a little coin envelope which is from the, the paper kit and there is a little card inside And in this little pocket, there is a postcard from the kit and it's got tea dyed paper on the back and a little envelope that I've made and a little mason jar from the kit and you can journal on the back. And this little envelope says a note for and it has a card in it, in it. I've made a little envelope here and attached it with a paper clip. And in this little photo pocket there is a little money wallet that I've made and you could put something inside there. And I've made a little pocket at the front and did a little bit of layering there and it says a lock of hair and there's everything that you would need inside to place a lock of hair and seal the envelope. And this is a little acetate pocket and it doesn't hide the beautiful paper and there is a card and a little journaling card. And this says, what we have once enjoyed, we can never lose. All that we have loved, all that we love deeply becomes part of us. And the clock in card and the other little envelope. And there's a couple of little tickets there. And a nice wee card. And I've decoupaged onto here um, a quote and it says to get up when you are down, to fight more intensely when you are struggling, 
to put in the extra effort when you are in sheer pain to come back when nobody expects you to and to stand tall when everyone is pulling you down are what makes a champion. And another little pocket in this says memories are meant to treasure. And there is a ticket from the collection, a postcard. And on the back, there is a beautiful image from the Edith Holden book. And this is a quote from, I think it's uh, Winnie the Pooh. I think we dream so we don't have to be apart for so long. If we're in each other's dreams, we can be together all the time. And that's Pooh and Piglet there. I don't know if the quote is actually from there or if it just is coincidence. But it's a lovely quote. And now we're on to the third and last signature of the book. This has, I've done some layering here. And it's special things. And there is a tag which has been backed with a lined paper and a postcard and there is another image from the Edith Holden book a little photo pocket here and this has got a little fabric tab which has been sewn on some vellum paper things could be stapled onto this and the little glassine bag and this is a little envelope which can be sealed and the stamp here says how beautiful a day can be when kindness touches it and on this tea dyed paper I've put a quote which says the most beautiful things in life cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. And that I think that's a Helen Keller quote. And a little paper clip here with a postcard. And it's been stitched around with a machine. All of these wee touches just make it a bit more special. And this little pocket, there is a postcard and a couple of little tickets. And a piece of ledger paper. And this stamp is Be a Unicorn in a Field of Horses. And this is the other side of the little envelope, which can also be sealed. And I've stamped it with one of my stamps. And this is a little acetate pocket and doesn't hide this beautiful paper. And this postcard is from the kit and it's also been backed with tea dyed paper. And in this little glassine bag, there is a little bag. And inside, there is a mason jar from the kit. And what I've done is I have used one of my little die cut shapes to cut out a love heart and it is 3D. You'll see there it's stuffed with um, like toy stuffing and this is cheesecloth so it's padded and it sits up and it says my favourite perfume or scent and the idea is that you would spray your favourite perfume or your favourite scent. It could be lavender essential oil or something like that, but you could put that here and then seal it into the bag and that will keep for a very long time. And then you would just seal it but that turned out super, super nice. I was so happy with that. And 
and on this little tab is a little bumblebee charm and I've tried hard to make the journal as pretty as possible just wanted to fill it with beautiful things and this stamp says remember when and that is the back and I've sewn some lace down there so that is the book but I've also got another couple of things and this is a little document wallet that I've made and inside there are a variety of tags or stickers that I've made and they say things like a message for what I love most about you my favourite songs, a token of love, um, memories to treasure, that kind of thing. And they have all been backed with double sided tape so that they can be stuck into the book. And in this one, this is a gorgeous little vintage themed envelope that my friend Moira gifted me. Moira, Moira McDonald and she made this for me. She made me a couple and I know she won't mind me parting with this one because it's for uh, somebody that's really special. So I know she's not going to mind. But isn't it beautiful? And inside I've just put some extra things. Um, I went through my project life cards and added in some of them and there are some spare cards from the kit, postcards, journaling cards. And I thought that would be a nice little touch to add that in. So that's what we've got and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So thanks very much for watching and a big welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm really getting there. I'm trying to get to 500. So thanks everybody who's joined me and thank you to all my existing subscribers for sticking with me and um, it really means a lot to me so i'll say cheerio for now and i'll see you all soon bye